Apiate is a community in the Pistia Huni Valley Municipality of the Western Region. On the 20th of January 2022, an explosion in the community claimed 17 lives, injured over 500 people and destroyed the whole township, making it one of the worst explosion disasters to be recorded in the history of Ghana. The survivors were accommodated in temporary structures whilst arrangements were made for permanent reconstruction of the whole township. But the people are not happy. Help us on that way. I'm on capture. Fauje, oh, Mr. Ben Kumsua. Mobosa, Dan and BP for us in Ebines, Ebini, and Penifuna Nitrapa. This house belonging to a headmaster was not captured in the book. So where will he stay after they commissioned the buildings? I don't know. See, Mamma, I'll be with you. Obina Broba, I know a brace in the dam. I done a bossy dam in Mano. Now, here for my means of Cacoda, what's where we are done now? Over commissioned Dano. Chemical, I am whom you are moon. Yea, cry, Wahani, ye near Hoto, a long time effects. Shet, Kuba could see what Corano, Kubani Nashi, Kubani Nashi, Kubana Yash, your name among Shet, Kubani Nashi, and to me, besides a Kuba Ponashi and Naya in the We don't know much about the chemicals that exploded here. This coconut tree, which was flourishing, died suddenly after the explosion. How much more will the impact be on we humans? According to these aggrieved victims, failure to heed this warning will be met with the fierce resistance of a united community determined to hold those responsible accountable. They say their pursuit of justice will not be compromised and they will persist until every victim is rightfully settled. Philip Kingsley Amponsa is a spokesperson for the aggrieved victims. They made us understand that everything had been captured and ready for commissioning, but it's not true. After we saw the video circulating on social media, we went to the municipal assembly to check if everyone had been captured. Surprisingly, many names have disappeared from the book. So if they commission it right now, those whose names are not in the book will not be given accommodation and the old structures will remain untouched. The residents say they will not allow any symbolic commissioning ceremony to overshadow the harsh reality they are facing. They are demanding a comprehensive resolution that will ensure that every displaced family has a home. Erama Smith, TV3 News, Western Region.